hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and in this playlist we are talking about prisma like how to do the migration how to create migrations how to generate migration how to generate the clients all these things so this is the third video and in the first video we just talked about a simple node.js app and we just try to create the users like this simple server.ts file we just use prisma.user.create so in this next video we are going to understand the migrations and the models more because what we are doing is we are writing a schema.prisma file we are defining all the different models we need in the project like user model course model student university all these different models okay like uh, if we talk about simple blog post application then the post comments users uh, reviews all these kind of models we have to define those will automatically gets converted into the entity classes sorry uh, the database tables and the client can also be generated for the same so let's talk about a couple of examples let's say i'm going to create a model playlist okay like playlist track these kind of examples we can talk about uh, model playlist and inside this model we can define all the attributes okay let's say the id id is int and you will see that this is not nothing like json it's a simple schema file and it has its own syntax okay then we have like let's say description which is of type string and id like how to define the columns how to define the primary key for that you have to make at the rate id and then the default is auto incremented you can actually install this uh, plugin which will help you with the syntax because it's totally different syntax like earlier you might have written the type ORM migrations type ORM models or entities or the sequelized entities but this is little different here we are defining the schema file so this is auto incremented description is string let's say i have a tracks in the playlist so i'm going to create another model for that so this is the playlist track of type array okay that means i need another model playlist track and here you will define all the properties for it let's say id and id is again int default auto incremented you can just copy and paste okay and then all the other attributes let's say i have added a eight and this is a timestamp column so it will be date time okay i also don't know the exact syntax so i'm just using this plugin and it is helping me a lot play let's say i have a playlist id and how can we create the relationships that's another thing now because it's not like we are going to have only single table there can be n number of tables and there will be relationship like one to one one to many many to one many to many okay here we are going to have the playlist id as a foreign key in the playlist track so how should we define it uh, let's do that so inside this we have a playlist and this is pointing to the playlist entity playlist model and here we can define the relations this is the relations and field okay which field you are pointing to so this field in this entity is referred with here we can define the references referred with id of the playlist table now our warning goes away right if i just remove this and you see this and it says that error validation failed tricks in the model playlist so it is actually expecting that you are going to define the relationship inside a playlist track you can see that the correct message right uh, error validating field the relationship field tracks on the model playlist is missing okay so here we are defining the relationship so what we are doing here is the inside this playlist track it is pointing to the playlist id i mean the playlist id is a foreign key in the playlist track which is referred with the id as a primary key from the playlist model okay now we can create another entity let's say model track 
and here id is again auto incremented primary key and i can have a name which is type string and here i do have all these three entities and here also i can have track id let's say which is int i didn't specify the explicit relationship between this playlist track and the track the only relationship we have is which have which is enforcing the integrity constraint okay because this can have only the id of this playlist primary key playlist uh, table primary key this is the id and we do have playlist id as a column in the playlist track which is actually a foreign key uh, having relationship with the primary key of the playlist okay now this is done how we can do this we can just use npm run prisma migrate it will check the schema file loaded from the environment variable and this is our database uh, url uh, and it is going to actually run the migration we'll generate the models in our table and here you can because i already have some data do you want to continue yes so it will just wipe out all the data and this is asking with a name okay it's i can say the initial migration and then if i change anything then it will create uh, the new migration and here you can see migration.sql file has been created and there we will see what all tables we have okay so we have table playlist playlist track track and now this is the important part with what kind of relationship we have right so inside playlist track we added a constraint with on the on the playlist id column that is referring to the playlist table id and this is like a primary key foreign key constraint we have added added foreign key right now if you change something you uh, run the migration again it will automatically generate the the new migration uh, and other commands which you already know there is a prisma generate and prisma generate is also another command which will generate the prisma client with these entities okay now let's see the another example another example let's say user blog post post users comments reviews all these kind of entity we are going to create uh, as another example hi everyone so let's take a look on another example so i will just uh, you can delete the migration because uh, we are just playing around this you can remove this schema and let's create another thing here we are going to play a little bit around uh, simple blog post kind of uh, entities let's say i'm going to create a first is model user and that contains the id which is int at the rate id which is auto incremented at the rate default and default is auto incremented and we i have email which is of string and i can add the constraint here you can see i think it should be unique and i have a role which is of type role like if you have some kind of enum right so in that case i can add a enum maybe there is some kind of a column where you wanted to create enum so let's say enum role and it has only two user and admin okay so now that really works we have created role and i have another is let's say id email role we have a name and this string which is nullable if you see the question marks that means that is nullable field okay role name and we can also have all the posts which you are going to write from the post entity post model and profile which you are going to add as another model okay let's say first create a profile so we are going to create model profile and inside profile we have 
couple of things which is nothing but uh, id i mean it's just like i just wanted to show the relationship that's why i'm creating another model as a profile apart from user here we have a biography about the user and then user because profile is going to have a foreign key from the user entity so how should we define this user is of type user okay it will have a relations and here we will define the fields fields is uh, let's say i'm going to have a user id so first of all you can define that user id here user id is of type int okay so this is user id column referring to primary key of the user table yes so this is a relationship we have created now similarly i can create a model post inside post model because here you can see the validation error because user is having relationship with the post but post model is empty we haven't defined the relationship there so inside you can have id as auto incremented that is first thing and then we can define all the other like created at updated at this is of type date time and you can also assign the default okay what will be the default value default can be now now means the current date time okay title is of type string published is a boolean that is boolean and here you can also set default using annotations default false so this is just like a prisma schema model syntax and we just need to follow the syntax how to write it so i'm going to post publish this boolean user is having the relationship with the user so here we can say this is author and we have a user id let's say this user id is integer give me a second so if i just format this with the prisma okay you can see the magic i mean when i did command shift p format with prisma it automatically adds the columns which i needed like in the post i will need author author will have a primary key foreign key author is of type user which will have a relationship field here as a author id author id will be of type integer having a reference with the user entity okay and other other relationships like what are the different categories of uh, a particular post so i can have another entity let's say categories and it is pointing to category which is array okay so you will be defining categories model now simple and this is having so there will be like a post can have multiple category and a single category can belong to multiple posts so here we are talking about many to many kind of relationship so one to many we have seen a single user can have multiple posts for that we have defined this that author inside the post will be the foreign key author id will be the foreign key inside the post table and single user can write a multiple post you can see here but let's say i'm also having categories but if i do command shift p okay here i will create a model categories model as a category and i will just define primary key auto incremented and then maybe the categories like okay this blog is about javascript node js react and all the name of the category and the posts to which it belongs to so 
Now, this is a many to many relationship. So, here like uh, relations and we are actually specifying the reference because in the case of menu to menu it's always it always creates a new table and the same relations we can add to the category because single category will belong to multiple posts and one post can have a multiple categories so you can see the relations references and we already have an enum why it is why it is not liking this okay let's see parsing attribute relations on the fields so here what we are doing is profile do we need this inside user we have profile or we can mark it as an optional in a label field okay so now we have all these categories all these uh, models defined what what will happen if we just run the migration we should see all these tables created i think with all these relationships so let's do npm run prisma migrate so it will just check your database is running and if that database is running uh, then it will just open that up it will run the migration so we need to give the connection name before that i wanted to open our database this is our database url so i'm just trying to connect to the database and then we will see the table structure and all if there are if there is any so this was our earlier database and what i'm going to do is enter the name of new migration which is let's say the users Okay, it is synchronizing with your schema and we will check our database now and you can see we have all the the new tables the categories the post and category to the post you can see this is a many to many Here you can see the category, the post, the profile has a user ID which is the foreign key and the user which has a unique on the email and the primary key. Okay, so this is just about how we are running the migration. We will talk about one more example and then we are good like we can actually do the some real project where we can de define these kind of as Prisma. Uh, models we run the migration generate the prisma client and do the actual apis like uh, some kind of a blog application some kind of actual real world application where you are doing insert update delete find running the queries against the prisma client so let's take a look on a little bit more complex example like uh, i do have only two entities uh, users and the bank accounts okay so i do have users user entity which is id primary key email is unique i mean we can also explore the couple of other options like how to write all these things at the rate unique and you can also pass i think some parameters to which particular so this is a constraint name here users dot unique emails this is a constraint name you are just specifying rule is still fine name we have and here i'm going to associate this with the bank accounts and i'm going to create another model bank account okay other than that i mean I always use a snack case for specifying the, the namings so you can just follow the same or you can follow one particular approach created date is uh, date time updated at is also again date time and the default you can specify default is now same with the updated at 
I think there should be something like at the rate of no, that's it. There is there something like updated at. So whenever you update it, automatically it will populate that. Both are date time. Now you can also let's say I'm defining this model, but I don't want it to use this particular table name. Here you can see the all the table names are in the camel case. And you can also see same with the columns. You can specify the column names whatever you want created underscore in the, the stack case and here I can do the mapping how can I do so I think there is a map and map will actually associate the naming conventions whatever we can follow okay I wanted to map it with the users or let's say more specifically account users because users table I think we already have account users okay now we can create another model so here with this at the rate map we can do a lot of things like specifying the the mapping of the entity like what will be the name of the table here that is the objective bank account this is another model i'm creating id is auto incremented primary key so i will remove everything here the first thing we have is the account id an account id is of type string and this is id and the default is here we are going to have a uuid so i think there is a type uuid also there same as auto incremented integer we have a user underscore id which is string and here we are going to have a relationship with the user user is of type user and here we will define our relation with which field so here okay i have a fields fields is user underscore id user underscore id is a string okay we can also set uh, because this is a string so we can set this is a uuid default is uuid okay this is integer so let's make it as a string also we don't need auto incremented uh, primary key now string neither is a built okay s is capital now this is uh, field is user id and we have references this referenced with the user id this referenced with id i mean the primary key of the the user table and here you can also specify the on delete cascade option i think on delete and on update so on delete it should be cascade and on update you can specify i think on delete cascade and on update is can we do this if i specify on update okay yeah i see all these options set null i wanted to do and on delete cascade that's it so we added these actions what will happen if the primary key is deleted right so we have a user then i have a number int and you can also specify the default values of any particular column let's say i wanted to initialize it with one that is an integer and created at and updated at these columns you can put on most of all these models because these are the, the life cycle models keep track on your entity record creations and all and here i can add the unique key constraint because here you can see i can specify map index on what all columns you wanted to add index unique key constraint you wanted to add so here i am adding that on the user id and the number column okay and i'm just going to map this constraint with some particular name which is let's say the bank account dot user id number unique 
this kind of constraint name I put and then again last day just add the map I'm just mapping it with the bank user bank accounts there can be a better naming for the tables yes now we can just run it I can just format this if anything is left okay everything looks correct then we can just what we can do npm run prisma migrate and it should be able to create the account users table and the constraint with these particular names which we have specified okay so this is all about migration how we are defining the relationships creating the migrations and populating things in the database all different types string enum uh, number date time how to define the primary key foreign key relationships okay how to define the unique key constraint okay let's see the real application in the next video guys uh, stay tuned so now we are going to let's say build a simple authentication system and here we are going to do all the prisma related apis from the node.js okay let's see the migrations we have created and this is the table structure we have only two tables so the, the previous tables have been dropped because we did the schema override i mean we just removed the the previous example created a new example here and did the migrate run so what will happen it will say okay now you have only two entities it will drop the the rest of the entities so you can see on the top we have actually dropped all these things because we actually cleaned up the uh, uh, schema file this will obviously happen okay you define the five models and in the second go you didn't change the uh, you didn't update the models you removed the five models and introduced two more two new models what will happen all the five tables will be dropped because it's like incremental migration is getting created so you can see all these are dropped and this has created these two tables with all the relationships which i have added now let's say if i'm creating uh, just i'm even again going to remove these so what will happen let's say i just take the backup of this and what we'll do is i will just create a two another and this time it is a simple author okay author is the model id primary key name is fine i will just have a name which is of type string and this is author so i can have a simple relationship here i have a quotes and i do have another model as a quote and this can be author and i do have another model this so this is going to have like okay author id author id is going to be of type string and i'm going to define the relationship one to many because single author can publish multiple quotes so it will be author and we will define all the relations uh, relations fields first so the field is author id in this table and the reference to the id of the author table and unique key i can i mean we don't need this relationship this constraint unique key constraint now i just created these two another entities you can see okay here it can be the constraint name can be a different one but it's like there are two new models i have added now what will happen when i just run the migration it is going to wipe out all the existing tables npm run prisma generate it will ask me the name okay this is the the new migration it will generate and then it will actually remove the existing tables we have and just create keep these two only currently uh, prisma supports only one single schema.prisma file where you have to define all these things all the models 
so i created i'm creating another migration with the name of authors and you can see this here and based on the changes it will do that and you can see it has dropped the account users and user user bank accounts now we have actually two new entities two new models create new double quotes create new table author so this is how it works you reload this the existing tables are gone and you have these two new tables okay so this is all about just playing with the the prisma migration how it works and the prisma generate you can actually now generate the clients for these two models and then just play around with the different methods provided by prisma client apis to find find all remove update delete the data inside the tables